everybody! Welcome back! If you don't remember me, my name's Amara. <laughs> if you're subscribed to my channel, welcome back. If you're not yet, make sure you subscribe and then we can be friends. I mean, we could be friends regardless, but I am so excited to be recording another Etsy video. It has been quite a long time. Can I swear yet? I think YouTube has like a 10 second thing where I can't swear yet. I'm waiting to get my swears and my Fs in and everything. <laughs> Anywho, lately I've been getting a lot of different questions from people on all my various different social media platforms and even in the comments below. So if you have a question, leave it in the comments. So I've been getting so many questions about how to start an Etsy shop. In this video, I'm gonna share the five absolute must have things you need to start your Etsy sticker shop. These have made me honestly thousands and thousands of dollars. Hopefully they can help you at least make some money, if not a billion gajillion dollars. <laughs> in another video, I'm also gonna talk about all the income revenue streams and stuff like that that I've made through Etsy, but you know, subscribe and stay tuned and it'll come out eventually. Oh, also everything I talk about in this video is gonna be linked in the description below because of course I'm gonna go off the rails. So everything is just gonna be linked below with Without further ado, let's just go take a look at the stuff. So the first thing I wanna to talk to you about is Paperlike. And this is not an ad for Paperlike. Genuinely though, this was an absolute game changer and it honestly, it changed my life in a weird sort of way. What the hell is Paperlike? Paperlike is a screen protector for your iPad that literally makes it feel like paper. I was absolutely against digital illustration until I got this. I still have my traditional illustration. However, digital illustration saves so much time, so much energy. There's so many different varieties, which I'm gonna talk about this in my second thing. So just stay tuned. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. But paper like literally changed the game. You can see that this mattifies the drawing surface a little bit. You can see every scratch mark that I have and every fingerprint, so sorry, that's pretty gross. <laughs> Essentially, it's just a screen protector, but it makes it feel like you're drawing on paper. It helps so much having that friction with your Apple. That's not how I draw. I don't draw like this. <laughs> if you do, that's cool. Oh my God, I'm opening things. Ah. If you draw with an Apple pencil on an iPad, you might notice it's a little slick and it's a little difficult to actually get like some like, oh Jesus, I'm just drawing on everything. Paper like definite absolute game changer, 100%. I highly recommend it. It also applies super easily. They have full instructions and it's basically just like line it up and you're ready to go. Please, 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 just if you get nothing else from this video, buy this if you draw on your iPad, seriously. <laughs> That brings me to my next part, which is Procreate. Procreate, if you're not familiar with it, you've probably heard of it by now, but it's literally an app where you can do digital illustration. You can have different brushes, you can have different canvases, you can have different sizes, you can import photos if you wanna draw on the photos, which I had a lot of fun with one time. But Procreate, honestly, it was such a game changer. It was literally the best $10 I've ever spent. Hands down, I would have spent $100 on it. I would have spent 200. Like it has provided so much value for me and helped me make thousands and thousands of dollars. Like all of these things have helped me make so much money and it's just insane. It's so easy. Literally just select this with the paper like it feels like you're drawn on paper. Well, I have it on graphite pencil so you probably cannot see that. But look at that. Look at how cool this is. Like we're in the future. Whoa. Smiley face. So you can do that. You can erase, you can smudge, you can change the hue and saturation. Like there are literally, you can have layers too, which is so helpful. You can have a clipping mask, which is really helpful. There's a really great account called Art with Flow that has a lot of great illustrations tutorials, so check her out if you're curious about anything. I'll link her also in the description below. I'm running out of breath. <gasps> All these things are like the beginning stages of creating your stickers. So how the hell do you make them? Let me show you yet again another thing that honestly changed my entire sticker making game. <laughs> Okay, so then the absolute third thing, I guess this really isn't in numerical order, but it kind of is, I don't know. Anyway, the number third thing that you absolutely need to start your Etsy sticker shop is a Cricut. When I started making stickers, I was hand cutting every single sticker. You can check out my channel. I literally have an entire video on how I was doing it just to save money because Cricuts can be a little expensive, especially if you don't know if you wanna actually start it as something. As soon as I was making more money from my Etsy sticker shop, then I was like, I'm gonna reinvest the profits that I made into this Cricut and it has been absolutely amazing. I was limiting my own creativity by not actually putting the money into something like this. It's just been hugely amazing to be able to have that type of level of creativity and everything without just being like, oh, I can only make square ones. Oh, I can only make rectangular ones or triangle ones. My eye is watering right now for some reason and I don't know why. Oh, TLDR. Cricut is absolutely amazing. You can have like a bunch of little different knives and doodads and stuff that come with it. I'm sure you know what the Cricut is by now, but you can start off hand cutting, of course, which is absolutely phenomenal, but genuinely you want to invest in a Cricut if you see this as like a long-term thing. So that brings me to number four, which is kind of part of number three, but we're just going to call it number four. <laughs> 
Um, the Cricut comes with this standard grip mat. It grips so fucking strong. I ripped the back of my stickers off. I have really good sticker paper. I'm gonna show it to you in a second. So the fact that this ripped that part off is like ridiculous to me. It was right after I bought this too, obviously. And I was so pissed off. I was like, maybe I should just return this and give it back and just like be done with it. But I figured out a solution, which is what, number four? One, two. I think this is number four, I've already lost count. That's what brings me to number four, the Cricut Light Grip Mat. When I'm making stickers, I use this light grip. You have to do this. I guess you don't have to fucking do anything. You don't even have to keep watching, but this is huge. I almost said game changer again, and I was like, I keep saying that. I need to choose other words. This is a life changer, man. It holds it, but not too tightly, so you can actually get your stuff off. If you get number three, the Cricut, then get Number four, the light grip mat. I promise it comes in like a pack of three. It's definitely worth it. I love it. I actually use that all the time now. Light grip mat. Okay, sticker paper. Ugh. Oh God. <laughs> okay, so I checked my notes and yes, that was number four, but I also do have two bonus tips I just realized. So uh, just hang out for a little bit and then you can learn more things that I like. <laughs> So the fifth and final one is sticker paper, obviously, because you're making a sticker shop. I tried a few different brands of sticker paper and genuinely hated the experience. This was amazing. Vinyl glossy paper, super high quality. It works really awesome with my printer, which I can link below to. I guess that could be like another bonus tip. I'll just save it for later. You get 15 sheets. It's also a really great price point. I know things are like fluctuating and everything. So just check whatever works for your budget, blah, blah, blah. These are awesome. Super easy to peel the back off too, which is really nice because sometimes if you get stickers and it's like, I can't fucking get it. I've used these since day one and I have not looked back. I don't have any issues and I just love them. So I teased bonus tips. I have two unintentionally because I can't count. So this was also supposed to be in the main part of the video. However, this is gonna be a bonus tip now. This was yet another game changer. I'm literally giving you all my fucking game changers. I'm so sorry. That's gonna be the title of this video, game changers. So originally when I started making stickers, I was also using a spray on like sealant. It was like something to like keep all the ink in so it could be waterproof and stuff like that. Essentially it was to waterproof it and make it really durable and strong. Such a pain in the ass. That was absolutely terrible. But then my boyfriend Jeff was like, hey, when I was a kid, my mom used to save like newspaper clippings or whatever the, I don't even remember them, but his mom would do laminating sheets for him to like preserve it. And I was like, huh, that's interesting. It has proved very lovely for stickers. So like these two products together work really well. Bonus tip within my bonus tip. If you choose to use these, let your paper dry at least 10 to 15 minutes after printing before you put this on. Why? Well, if you have fine lines or fine detail, which you probably should steer away from anyway, because that is a nightmare to try to keep like nice from getting all muddy and everything. If you try to put this on too early, it'll muddy your colors a little bit. Do not do that. Just wait 10 to 15 minutes, set a timer, listen to a podcast, hang out, put your feet up, eat a burrito, whatever you want to do before you put this on. So you can see that's what it looks like. Just really nice and clear, high quality, and it's all nice and glossy, which works really well with this. If you do matte sticker paper, do not do these. It will stick to it immediately and you cannot get it off. So I just cut these to the size of the design because if you have a Cricut or if you bought the Cricut, it'll change how big you can make your design, which all to have a full video, like I said, about that. Second bonus tip, if you are using this then, these little squeegees. I have these exact ones linked below just because these are really nice actually, very high quality, but these super lightweight also. Before I was using my bus pass, <laughs> so I was like, maybe I should use something a little bit better. These are really nice because then when you are trying to affix your laminating sheet, you can just gently drag, get all the bubbles out, be careful of bubbles, be careful of lines, just be very careful with everything. Again, super optional, you could literally use your credit card or your state issued ID or whatever the fuck you want, but genuinely these are really nice just because they have the, the padding and stuff like that. So anywho, I hope this video was super helpful for you. If you have any other questions, please comment them below. I will get to them ASAP or reach out to me on any social media platforms. I have them all linked below in the description. These honestly helped change my business and these were honestly the reason why I was able to make thousands of dollars on Etsy. I'm not even trying to be funny. Like genuinely, this is what did it and this is what helped like these things. So I wish you the most success. If you've had success with these things, let 
let me know. If you have other alternatives even, let me know below and I am very excited for you to get started. That is it for this video. Um, be sure to subscribe. Like I said, I have a bunch of other Etsy content coming out, including uh, the top three things you should do when starting your Etsy shop, how to set up listings, how to fucking forgot everything. Oh, how I actually made the thousands of dollars, the income revenue streams like I told you about and just a bunch of other stuff. We'll just see what the hell happens. But like I said, I'm on a caffeine rant. So anywho, thank you so much for watching and goodbye. <laughs> Oh my God, they're probably like, can you shut the fuck up? Okay, time to eat a burrito.